construct a 90 degree angle, you only need a drawing compass, a straight edge, a pencil, and paper. On your paper, draw a line segment longer than the ray of the 90 degree angle you need. Locate two points on the line segment at either end. Open the drawing compass to extend a bit beyond half the distance of the line segment. Swing an arc above and below the line segment. Without changing the compass, relocate it to the other endpoint. Swing another arc above and below the line segment. The two arcs should cross above and below the line segment. Connecting the two intersecting points of the arcs with the straight edge will produce a 90 degree angle. Your transversal and the original line will meet to create at four right angles. Now let's learn how to construct a 60 degree angle. Making a 60 degree angle begins by remembering that 60 degree angles form the interior angles of equilateral triangles. First, construct a line segment with a straight edge. Label its endpoints. In our drawing, we will call them points O and G. Next, Place the drawing compass needle point on point O and adjust it to meet point G. Swing an arc upward from point G high above the line segment. Without adjusting the compass, relocate the needle to point G. Now, swing an arc upwards so it crosses the first arc. Use the straight edge to construct a line segment from point O up to the point of intersection of the two arcs. Label the new line segment's endpoint point D. The angle created from point D to O to G by striking three congruent lengths is 60 degrees. If you wanted, you could connect points D and G and form the equilateral triangle. Next, let's learn how to construct a 30 degree angle. A 30 degree angle is half of a 60 degree angle. So, to draw a 30 degree angle, construct a 60 degree angle and then bisect it. Follow the steps we just learned to construct a new 60 degree angle. Then bisect the 60 degree angle with your drawing compass by following these next few steps. First, without changing the compass, relocate the needle arm to one of the points on the rays. Swing an arc on the inside of the angle. Without changing the compass, relocate the needle arm to the other rays point. Swing an arc on the inside of the angle. Lastly, Use the straight edge to connect the intersection of the two arcs with the vertex of the 60 degree angle. That line segment is an angle bisector, yielding two 30 degree angles. Finally, let's learn how to construct a 120 degree angle. What is the supplementary angle to a 120 degree angle? In other words, what angle must we add to 120 degrees to get a 180 degree angle? The answer is a 60 degree angle. A 120 degree angle is the adjacent angle to any of the 60 degree angles you already constructed. To construct your 120 degree angle, construct a 60 degree angle and then extend one of its sides far past the vertex. That angle beyond the 60 degree angle is your 120 degree angle.